Hey y'all, it's your favorite bald head, smile head. Come on out, it's your girl Chrissy Terrell and I'm back with another bomb story time. Let's get into it. Oh, y'all see my fur babies back there? Fur babies, my plant babies back there. I got two new plant babies. Y'all, if y'all interested in where I ordered my plants from, y'all, I'll leave it down in the comments or the um, description box. It, I think the uh, place on Instagram, y'all, is called Ethne, Ethnobotany Shop. I think. Yeah, Ethnobotany Shop. I'll leave it down there in the um, description box. But, honey, I ordered that. I did not even have to leave the house for my plants, honey. They mailed it right to my door, and it was quick. My plant came healthy. I'm going to definitely be ordering more plants because it's easier, and they were not expensive at all. It was cheap, honey. Better than me going to the store and trying to pick out them darn plants. Baby, came healthy, and I loved it. Anyway, let's get right into the video. This uh, story time is about my friend that got drunk, and just went butt naked and stayed and somebody just walked into their house and slept in their bed a stranger's bed the person came home the next morning and you in their house you in their bed sleep let's get into the video acting like you who does she think she was the hood goldilocks what's, what's going on with you girl anyway well you know what my friend was not i ain't gonna say her ethnicity dead i'm trying to clock my friends well we're not friends well i ain't gonna say we ain't friends no more but it was a mutual friend that we all knew anyway y'all i don't got no wine today don't clock me because i'm on a health kick ain't nothing in here but water that's all i can do right now okay come on out i did go to a juicing spot but anyway that's beside the point let's get into the video okay y'all so my friend she went home okay she went out to the bar having drinks drinking it up with her little boobie a little boobie she had she she went home with him after the club you know when you leave the club you you frisky you know you ready to get that pocketbook up honey it's a little cup of juice water in the pocketbook after you done had all them drinks pocketbook ready to be taken you know that's why I tell these boys, not these boys, I tell these men, when I've been in relationships, no ma'am, don't come, don't come here try to climb my back with Hennessy on your throat. No sir, baby, <laughs> I don't need all that wear and tear. That's the one time thing, baby, once a month, don't, don't do that. She, she don't like all that wear and tear, honey. Anyway, so she go to the bar, she get drunk. Her and her friend, they take it back to their house. You know, it's about to go this out. He about to try to climb in her pocketbook and stuff. But she was like, I had to go to the bathroom. She said she had to go to the bathroom. But she was drunk. She didn't She didn't have no clothes on. She go to the bathroom. She said, <laughs> this whole word. She said when she went to the bathroom, she couldn't remember what door she came out of. But what I couldn't understand, why did you go outside this this man's door to go to the bathroom? Like, she said she was looking for the bathroom, but she couldn't figure out what door she came out of. So, she done walked out the boy apartment, and she don't know which door she came out of. Mind you, you butt naked out here in these streets. She said she just kept pulling on doors till one opened. So, she go inside. <laughs> Girl, how you do it, honey? Y'all, don't judge my friend. Don't judge her. I ain't talked to her in years. She's moved on to better things. She was about the only white friend I, we all mutually had. Okay, so let her live her life. Come on out. We all done did a little something. Say. Anyway, so she leave out the boy apartment. She just pulling doors. She don't have her phone. She don't got nothing but the skin on her Caucasian back. That's it. You know how it be. So she go out. She opening the door, pulling the knobs, pulling the knobs. She says finally one of them opened. She thought that was the boy house. So she said she didn't do no looking around. She just got in the boy bed, whoever bed it was. She thought it was the boy. She didn't look to see where the boy was or nothing. She said she was tired. Baby girl tired. She been drinking all night. 
pocketbook been dragging the ground, she's tired. She been, you know, twerk air, throwing that pocketbook in a circle. She's tired. So she said she go in the, the, the person's house, which she thought was the same boy, she get in the bed. She go to sleep. This way it get tricky. The next morning, a boy come in. In his house. He coming from his girlfriend's house, he said. He come in. He walks in and say, who the F are you? Who are you? What the F? Who are you? So she was like, you know who the F I am? Who are who the F are you? So they going back and forth. Who was who? You heard? I'm telling you how she said, how she told me. Because <laughs> the next morning, we, that's what I saw her. So she was like, they finally hinted, like realized that she, he was like, I just left my girlfriend's house and I'm so glad I didn't bring her with me because she would have been ready to fight me and thinking that I'm lying. So she, he said that and she was like, that's when he hit her like, oh, you aren't the boy. It, finally, she finally woke up and sobered up and was like, oh, snap. So he gave her some clothes and he gave her a ride. She get to her apartment and the boy, she get in contact with the boy because he had her phone and stuff. He, she called it from her roommate's phone, called the boy that she was supposed to stay tonight with. He was like, what happened to you? Where are you? Like your phone's here, your purse. You just went, you just never came back. Your clothes here. I don't know. I can't remember. She explained to him what happened. Well, she did, because, honey, how this girl was, she just was a little, I ain't going to say ditzy, but she was just a fun, flirty friend. Like, she was fun to be around. She was the life of the party. But when I tell you this story, it tickled me to my bone marrow because I kept asking her that morning, like, girl, what, what happened? Because we all went to have tacos the next day. Like, I forget what it's called, but it's a taco spot. And we listen to her with this story, and I'm like, girl, how? Can anybody, how, y'all? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this story time. If she see this video, she's probably gonna laugh because, <laughs> girl, how you do it? Anyway, cause honey, how you just go off and stay the night in this man of strangers bed? Honey, because if I was the girlfriend, baby, it's uppercuts going down. I'm I'm beating my man. Uh-uh. Who who is this? Who is this Goldilock? That's about to get the beat down. Baby, I probably would have slammed the coffee mug on your head. I don't know. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. Let me know if you want the other story time about when I caught my friend. Saying, I'll just get back to y'all. I'll let you, I, I, I'll tell y'all the story. Let me know if you want to hear the second story time because it's a doozy. It's like the modern day, really, for real, get out. It made me think of it. But anyway, I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Love you guys. Let me know what other content you want to see from me. And I told y'all I was going to still do my um low income based hood luxury apartment tour but y'all you know like i said in the last video i had that ac unit up in there i gotta get rid of my, my ac was messed up you know i'm out here in the hood you gunshots i gotta know what time not to uh be standing up and stuff by my window but anyway i'll see y'all in this video love you guys peace